Hey guys, how's it going? Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Just taking my rock for a walk. He's got to get his exercise in. He's put on a few pounds over the winter. So I'm out just, you know, helping them to get into tippy top shape. You know, we have a dog moving into our house in a couple weeks. And I'm actually really excited. I'm going to take that dog on so many walks and so many hikes. And it's going to be so adorable and so wholesome. I'm going to love every minute of it. Can't wait. But yeah, so we are in the Earth Temple right now, which I don't know. This seems more like a fire temple to me, but whatever the game says. And we're about to go into the second half of the dungeon. Oh no, are they going to make us do cardio? You can't make us do cardio. What? This is abhorrent. This is disgusting. Not in my Zelda games. Just kidding, that's all Link ever does is cardio. I wonder what Link's resting heart rate is. That's gonna be pretty low with how much he runs. Whoa! What's going on here? Oh, if I don't keep running, then we slide. Uh, uh. How, what? How was I supposed to get past that? I am such confusion. How do I make it all the way up here in the first place? Oh, there's like a little ledge in there. Can I can I walk into there? Oh no, it's dropping more rocks. Get up here, okay. Let them get past. Let the stamina meter refill and keep going. Oh, Link, what are you doing? Why did you run up the wall like that? You goof. He's just trying to show how good of a parkourist he is. He wants to show how low his resting heart rate is. It's probably like, what, 60? I wonder what my resting heart rate is. Or even more interesting, I wonder what my heart rate is when I'm recording YouTube videos. I wonder if it goes up. It probably does, because I get a little bit, you know, a little bit excited when I'm recording YouTube videos. Okay, that's a lava slide. That's pretty cool. Dude, it'd be cool to see like one of those lava rivers. I've seen some on Instagram for people who just go and just look at volcanoes. And there'll be some there'll be situations where there's lava rivers that are moving at like 50 miles per hour. It should look scary. Oh, I'm seeing what we're gonna have to do. Gotta get ourselves some preparation. How how well is this timing? Well that timing wasn't that good. Can I uh, put it down and then pick it back up and then throw it? How was that timing? Oh, that was getting too fast. It seems like they blow up a lot faster if you set them on the floor first. Like them touching the ground just makes them want to blow up faster. <laughs> I just remember the most random thing. But do you guys remember back in elementary school when people would ask you, they would say, what is your name? And you'd answer, uh, Tyler. What color is the sky? Uh, blue. And what's the, what's the opposite of down? Uh, up. Now say all three of those back to back. Tyler blew up. Ha 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 ha. You blew up. <laughs> what was that? Or like the spell I cup. And then as a smart ass, you would say, E-Y-E-C-U-P. And they'd be like, no, I as in like, you as in like the letter I. And then you'd be like, no, I see what you're doing. You're wanting me to say I see you, P. <laughs> what were we in elementary school? Why were we so amused by that? <laughs> it makes no sense. Okay, this dragon's having some major indigestion. This is what's coming out the front end. I don't want to know what's coming out the back end. Feels good coming out the back end, don't it? I don't need to save. I have faith that the game console is not going to shut off and make me lose all my progress. You know, that's one of the... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that's one of the best things about the Switch is your console can't just like randomly shut off and make you lose all your progress. If it gets unplugged, it has a battery so it just continues working and you never lose any of your save data such a good selling point oh we got the dragon sculpture 
It's like carving of a coiled dragon made out of dazzling gold. I'm just not realizing this game doesn't have compasses, does it? It just tells you where all the treasure chests are right out the get-go. You know, I'm kind of okay with that. Compasses are kind of pointless. Oh no. What's happening? Oh. Oh, Crash Bandicoot, baby. Crash Bandicoot. Crash for Smash, baby. This is... Oh. This is how they're telling us. That would be actually a really cool reveal trailer if they showed that cutscene but replaced it with Crash Bandicoot or like Link and Crash Bandicoot are going through a temple together. Cause you know, Crash Bandicoot's kind of like Link. He goes through dungeons and tries to make it to the end and he fights bosses and all that stuff. Did he just swallow that? It's like swallowing a pill. Okay, this one we gotta coil it. Right, I think I see how it goes. Like this, it's hard. It's harder to move this than it looks. There we go. Ooh, like that. Just like that, catch my wave. Do it like that and I'll repay you. There we go. Enjoy your new home, dragon statuette. All right, gotta fix my hair before we go into the boss fight. I don't want the boss of this temple to think I'm a ratchet, nappy-headed hoe. That wouldn't be cool. We wanna look our best and feel our best for this. Watch it be Giraham again. <laughs> this time Giraham's ready, he has a whole date set up. He made dinner, he made tea. He's here to treat us with respect and dignity. Whoa. That's a strong spinal cord. Master, I detect Zelda's aura in the surrounding area. I detect an especially strong reaction from this chain. I calculate the probability Zelda was bound by it recently at 95%. Wait, where is she now then? I surmise Zelda was somehow able to escape and proceed along this path. I suggest we continue with all possible speed. All right, full speed ahead, troops. Charge. It is Garaham. I knew it. Did you make tea? Oh, it's you. Let me see. No, that's not it. This is so very embarrassing, but I seem to be at a loss for your name. Not that it matters, really. To tell you the truth, I'm feeling a bit frustrated, and right now, I just need someone to vent to. Is he sexually frustrated? That's the vibe I'm getting. His hair's looking too shiny right now. Conditioning? On point. I heard my underlings had finally captured the spirit maiden, so of course I rushed over here. Oh, what can I say? I was excited, flustered even. But what did I find when I arrived? That agent of the goddess. She had once again. You see what I'm trying to say is. That goddess serving dog escaped with the girl. I must have the spirit maiden in order to resurrect my master. I must have her. I got a little carried away there, didn't I? I don't deal well with complications to plans I've laid out so carefully. It's a character flaw of mine. Ah, oh, but something good can still come from this day. I've had all this bottled up anger smoldering inside of me and now I can release it. I don't want you to release anything, dude. Please don't. There's something special I'd like you to meet. Oh, don't be shy. I need to vent all this unhealthy anger and your agony is such a great stress reliever. Damn, am I just gay as fuck, or is this, like, <laughs> have a lot of subtleness to it? <laughs> There's a lot of implications happening in his dialogue. It won't take more than a few moments with my friend before you're charred. It was satisfying, Crisp. And let me tell you, that will put a spring in my step. What a sassy snap. Oh. Oh, schnizballs. Oh no, what have you done? You shouldn't have done this. What? This looks like a boss from Pikmin. Pyroclastic Fiend, Scaldera. Whoa, okay, the Crash Bandicoot boulder is mad, super mad. Uh, can I throw any bombs at him? Get back, you gone thought. 
That's right. That's right. Roll back to the beginning. You can't catch me. Oh, okay. Wait, what do I do up here? There's a lot of hearts up here. <gasps> Zoinks! Okay, what am I missing out on here? And bada bing bada boom. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Up. Oh, what? Eat that. Eat that. Yummy. Good for your nutrition. There's a lot of vitamins and minerals. Oh, he has eyeballs. Of course he does. Every Zelda boss has eyeballs. Where, how else would we find a weak point if there wasn't some really vulnerable eyeball or tail to hit? Roll back. Get back down there. Is he going to do the sucking again? Mmm. Delicioso. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. Delicioso. All right, let's get our distance. Let's go back up to the top. Pick up a couple more bombs. Oh, no, he opened his mouth again. What? I could have totally got another hidden. Moi? 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 Here, have some bombs. Oh dang, when he gets up here, he like automatically gets hurt by the bomb flowers on the side of the, of the lane. Gucci, Gucci, go. Gucci, Gucci, go. Oh wait, what? My stamina, not my stamina. Get back, okay. And here, take that. Ooh, we ate it. Man, what a dumbass. These bosses just don't learn, do they? Their AI is not the most adaptive. Whoa, he's tall. Damn, all the girls would love him. These fireballs got range. Oh, oh sh Oh, hell nah. You did not just do that, girl. Mm-mm. Oh, oh. That could have gone better. Or maybe it could have gone worse. Who knows? Here, it's like this one in for you, buddy. Oh, dang it. I could have hurt him. The blast radius big enough? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, where are you going now? Avalanche. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, this is this is a really fun boss fight. See, I wish they started the game off with this type of boss fight. These are the ones that are memorable. That freaking gear of him. Freaking gear of him. Freaking gear of pork. Gear up, bacon. You get closer to him. And smash. Woo! Okay, this has to be it. I got a good feeling about this one. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, thank you for walking over me. You could have really hurt me, but you decided not to. That shows you do care. Aww. Okay, let's finish him off. I'm tired of this asshole. Ooh, yeah, get red trick. Whoa, his textures look interesting. Ooh, that looks painful. Should I call a doctor? Are we good? Does it matter? <laughs> nah. Nobody's going to miss a gigantic lava spider. I know I'm not. Another one. Oh, Link is so happy. <laughs> Link is so expressive in this game. Watch the dragon puke out another boss fight. Link can't catch a break out here. Making us do cardio even after fighting the boss. Come on. Have a heart. I should probably pick up a few bombs, huh? Just in case there's a secondary boss fight. That'd be a really cool change of pace for a Zelda game. Like you fight the boss for a temple and then you go to the room afterwards and there's just another whole boss fight. And that would catch people off guard. I'd be here for it. Is there any boss? I get there actually is a boss fight in Twilight Princess that kind of does that in the Arbiter's Grounds. You fight that gigantic dragon skeleton, and then you kill it, and you think you're done with the boss fight, but then he comes back to life, and it's like a giant head, and you use the spinner, and you go up. Zelda! We found her! 
She's alive! Praise the goddesses! Is that Impa? More like Pimpa. <gasps> she noticed me. Her hair reminds me of a thousand b strings of bananas. <laughs> Link! Damn, Zelda. I like the outfit. You look gorgeous. You cannot go to him, your grace. Remember what we discussed. Restrain yourself. Focus on the task at hand. Pimpa, don't try to come between me and my girl. Who are you to say this? What task at hand? Zelda, explain. Come on, just talk to me for like two minutes. I can't be that urgent. Come on, at least talk to me. Are you kidding me? Where is she going? Zelda, no, come back. All right, it's just you and me now, Impa. Yikes. She gave us the side eye. <laughs> the stank eye. <laughs> it took you far too long to get here. Looking at you, I feared the goddess is mistaken in her choice of agents. If this failure is any indication, you have no help of defending her grace from those who seek to assail her. What are you talking about? I killed every single bad guy in this temple. I'm just, I'm new to this. Did my words sting? Let them. If I had not come when I did, your Zelda would have already fallen into the hands of the enemy. I guess you are right. But I still did my best. Sort of. I mean, I did go and talk to Beetle and went back to Skyloft and everything. But I have to, I have to do things in the order they're supposed to be done. I sent Zelda ahead to learn more of the fate in which she is destined to play a part. Listen well, Chosen One. If you wish to be of help to her grace, you must summon a shred of courage and face the trials out laid ahead of you. Only when you've conquered the trials will you be of any use to Zelda. No sooner. Am I understood? No. You aren't. Get out of here. Freaking bitch. She's so mean. But at the same time, her words make me want to do better. <laughs> Damn, my Link is upset. <laughs> okay, this time I need to look around this room a little bit better. Because I think I missed something in the last shrine. Do we have any goddess cubes? Oh, we have some fairies. Very nice. I don't need any hearts or anything right now, though, so it doesn't do much for us. But we're good. Okay. Gotta do a little bit more flingage. Flingage. Highly in crest go brr. This room is entirely different from the rest of the dungeon. Everywhere else was just lava falls and lava geysers, and now we're in this quaint little spring of the goddesses. Master, I have a message written in the language of the gods of old. Allow me to translate for you. From the edge of time, I guide you, the one destined to carry out the goddess's mission. The spirit maiden who descended from the clouds has passed through the earth spring and makes her way to a faded place. Where are the judges? Better be giving my girl fee. 10 out of 10s. The parched desert of Lanairu. That is where the Chosen will pass through the gate of time into a distant world. Those Perriers, man. Is Link in love? Does Link like Zelda like that? 
It seems like he might have like kind of been on the fence at the beginning of the game, but now that Zelda's gone, he's realizing how important she was to him. Okay, so we have the bomb bag now. I'm trying to remember if there was anywhere on the map where having the bomb bag might be helpful. We have Thrill Digger if we want to play that mini game again. I do not want to right now. So let's just go ahead and go back up into the sky. I think the next thing we should do is go and open up some of the treasure chests that we have activated by hitting the goddess blocks. See what we can find there. And then we'll go bring the tablet back to the chamber underneath the goddess statue and open up the next section of the map for ourselves. And we'll just keep on moving forward, baby. Moving along like the All-American Rejects. Okay, so we have a few separate blocks behind us and one way over here. I'm gonna pass out on that one for right now. Not pass out, pass on. I'm not feeling lightheaded. We're all good. This is a really good fanfare whenever you're flying around the sky. I do love it. Also, I'm not sure if it's just me, but it seems like Link flies faster in this game in comparison to the regular version. I feel like I'm just getting around this map way quicker than I usually do. Can I land on top of this? Whoa, oh, slippery tree. Slippery tree. Ouch. Okay, I guess that wasn't <laughs> a platform for me to stand on. Lesson learned. Come on, treasure, make me feel better. I just lost the heart. I'm sad. I'm sad. Ooh, gold rupee. 300. Dang. Okay, at this point, I'm, like, afraid to even go and open up other chests. I'm afraid I'm going to miss out on more rupees. Heck, let's just go back to Skyloft right now. Let's go to si Skyloft to spend some more money. What was it in Beetle Shop that cost 300 rupees? I think I couldn't afford. Was it an expansion to my adventure pouch? I think so. Might as well expand it while we can. Because I can't save up for anything else right now. I think the next cheapest thing at the beetle shop is 800 rupees. Beetle and his freaking outlandish prices. Who does he think he is? I guess Beetle knows who he is. That's why he's selling them for so expensive. He knows he has a good reputation. Although, does he have a good reputation? This is technically the very first Zelda game in the whole entire franchise. So with that logic... Does Beetle know who he truly is? Whenever I hear the music for Skyloft, it always just eases my mind. It soothes my soul. It makes me feel like I'm home. Which I guess technically I am. Okay, Beetle Boy. I'm gonna need you to drop that rope again for me. Ding! Ding -a ding 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 ding! Hitch my ride. Why, why, Link, why do you take so long to grab this? Oh. I need to stand directly underneath it. There was like a tiny little shadow from the ball of the rope. Which is peculiar, because not many other things seem to have shadows in this game. Like, I don't think- I don't know if Beetle's airship has a shadow itself, but the rope does? Wait, can we buy another wallet upgrade? Oh, extra wallet! It's amazingly useful! You can carry an extra 300 rupees? Yes, yes. For only 100 rupees? Yes! That's exactly what I want. Okay, so now we can hold 900 rupees. Feeling great about that. And then... So I think this little pennant right here with a heart on it, I think that helps us find all the heart pieces on the map. But like, we're not even close to the point of needing to find the heart pieces. And I think it also costs a thousand rupees to buy that. So we don't even have the rupee capacity yet. Okay, cool. Extra pouch, that will definitely come in handy. And let's head out. Bye! Ouch. Very nice, very nice. 
All right, next thing we're gonna do is let's head back underneath the goddess statue and place the third and final piece of the tablet down here. So I'm sure it's gonna open up a new portion of the map, but since we're filling out the whole entire thing, I wonder if anything else interesting will happen. Will we get some new sort of abilities by chance? That would come in clutch. I could use a sword beam, that would be great. Where's it gonna land? It's the shooting star I see, a feeling of ecstasy. You and I, you and I, we're like diamonds in the sky. I confirm the location of a third opening in the cloud barrier in the sky to the southeast. It will allow you to reach a new area on the surface. I suggest going there as soon as you are suitably prepared. Oh, is that all we got? Okay, cool. Good to know. Anyways, with that, I believe we are going to call it an episode here. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving the video a thumbs up to help me out in the algorithm. And leave a comment letting me know what you ate for breakfast this morning. Just because why not? Why the heck not? <laughs> Anyways, you guys are awesome, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.